Hello friends and welcome to the channel again. Thanks very much for subscribing and watching our travel videos. As you may have noticed that recently we are adding beautiful scenarios of Hobart in front of our all videos that we are posting. And so today we are in a different spot in Hobart. It's called Arthur Circus. It's in Battery Point of Hobart. It's a beautiful place to live and work. And this is a historic battery point. It goes back to nearly over 200 years. And you can see that we have Mount Wellington visible and we have some clouds on Mount Wellington. And this type of clouds are called um, Bridgewater Jerry's where you have low level clouds flowing over the mountain or riverside. And so let's move on to today's video. Today's video is about two different animals, sea lions and dolphins. Before COVID, we traveled to Gold Coast and Queensland in Australia. And there is a place called Sea Vault, which is pretty famous and quite popular destination for children and family. And there are two experiences that you can have. One is with dolphins, trained dolphins, and they interact with humans and they put a fat fascinating show and then we have huge collection of Californian sea lions or seals and Australian seals and they're also very well trained and they interact with humans and they put a fascinating show so we put together two videos these are old recordings as you know we archive our old videos on our channel as well so please enjoy these two videos that we're going to share together this week and so hope you like it As for hearing, they have two tiny pinholes in each side. At a sprint, the average top speed of a human being is about seven and a half kilometers per hour. The bottom of those dolphin, who can weigh up to 200 kilograms, can travel up to 40 kilometers per hour. The oceans are known for their direct depths, and we're ready to explore the dolphin can dive up to 500 meters. But we're close to the surface, and I'm looking to have some fun. This is the Max Up of their own. Check it out. <laughs>
particular dolphins, you'll often see them making physical contact. Now, our species share that vital link for social connections. No two dolphins are the same, each of them having their own distinct personality and patterns of behaviour. Now, this makes for some fascinating social interactions. Often, you'll see dolphins performing natural, synchronised behaviours, such as breaching or leaving. These connections are very special and they are never taken lightly. You see, the survival of our oceans is directly connected to the dolphins and our own. In plain terms, our affinity with the sea brings with it a clear responsibility to actively protect our ocean environments and its inhabitants. Yeah. 